Can someone who's never used a plasma cutter take one right out of the box and start cutting metal instantly? Well, stick around. We're going to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to B&B Farms, where our goal is to try and live with our land and not just on it. As you could probably tell by the intro, we've got a new tool here on the farm. Our uh, plan today is to unbox this, take it out, get it all hooked up, and see if someone, namely me, who has never used a plasma cutter before can just plug it in and start cutting metal. So without further ado, let's get this thing out of the box and see what we got. I guess we should start off by saying that this is not a sponsored video. Uh, we bought this plasma cutter with our own money. I've always wanted one of these. We've got some projects that we're going to be getting to here shortly, probably on this channel uh, here around the farm. This would come in real handy to getting those knocked out. So let's yank it out of the Amazon box. It came in. Maybe. There we go. All right, we got it out of the box. You can see that it is a Best Arc BTC 600 DP 13th generation. Uh, I got a lot of good reviews for this plasma cutter or one very similar to it. I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews for the 600. The 500 is all over uh, the internet, all over YouTube. Uh, almost without fail, positive reviews on it. So I'm gonna get it out of this box and we're gonna put it together. up good can't fault that okay the prerequisite foam there's the main event right there pretty small package Bring you guys in here let you see uh, what I'm looking at so the description said that this plasma cutter would run off of 220 or 110 you can see that it comes with a, a 220 outlet pretty heavy cord on it also uh, I think there's an adapter in that box right there that'll convert it down to 110 we're not gonna run it on 110 we have 220 so that's what we'll be using to power it as far as visual appeal yeah, it's, it's pretty sleek looking. Um, probably need to get it in somewhere and a little darker. It's really bright out here right now. So we can uh, see what it looks like when we fire it up. First, let's open this box right here. I'm assuming this has the torch in it. It's got an air hose. A ground clamp. Standard. There's the adapter to go from 220 to 110. I don't think we'll be using that at all but it's here it's like some consumables and some Teflon tape the instruction manual be looking at that and the torch get it out of this bag there we go the torch feels good it's got a standoff on it I see yeah let's uh let's get this wired up see what it looks like I think it's important to note here that I did glance at the instructions briefly. Uh, actually, it seems pretty intuitive. We've got our ground clamp. Just going to go right there, give it about a quarter turn to lock it, and it's in. And then we've got the connection for our torch, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's going to go right over here, threaded connection. that it's got a couple of danglies here this black one if you guys can see that or not it's got those those female terminals in it it's only gonna go one way yep right like that tighten that nut hmm 
maybe. There we go. And that red wire, this is the only piece left, it's where it must go. It's got an eyelet on the end of it. We'll hook it right there. Actually, we'll turn it over. And that's it. This thing is hooked up, ready to plug into a voltage source and, I guess, try and cut some metal. I almost forgot one of the most important components. We've got to have a, a source of compressed air. We need to plug our air compressor into the back of this Best Art plasma cutter. I told you I'd never done this before. All right, so I've moved everything inside. Hopefully everything will show up a little better and it's getting ready to rain again. So let's switch this on. We've got our air plugged in. We've got our voltage plugged in. Yeah, there's a lot happening there. Okay, what do we got? Um, I can see it's set for 220 volts. Right there, it recognizes what incoming voltage is automatically. That's pretty cool. I believe this is the current amperage setting. It's set for 15 amps, 24 pressure PSI. So that's our that's our air compressor coming in on our regulator. I think we want to set this with the torch tip depressed. Like here's our torch tip. Yeah, so we want to adjust that while it's actually running. Let's do that now. All right, so I'm going to hit the trigger. We're going to dial up that air pressure to about 45. Guys, I apologize for the lack of detail. It's getting ready to rain here just any second. I didn't show a, a lot of setting this plasma cutter up, but we're gonna jump right into cutting some metal. Uh, you're gonna see my very first cut. I mean, I haven't practiced with it, nothing. Just watch a lot of YouTube videos. So here we go. First up, I'm gonna try cutting some eighth inch angle iron. We've got the amperage set to 25 amps and the air pressure set to 35 PSI. So let's see what happens. All right, well, it made quick work of that. About the ugliest cut I've ever seen, but it cut it no problem. Let's step on up to some quarter inch. So for this quarter inch, I've turned the amperage up to 35 and the air pressure to 40 PSI. Here we go. That looks pretty good. Again, it's not the torch, it's the guy learning to use it. All right, let's step up to some, uh, what do we got? All right, let's go all the way up to half inch and see what we can do. Here's half inch steel. We are at 55 amps and 62 PSI on our air pressure. I'd say this is gonna be about max for this machine.
Check it out again, it's ugly. It's got a lot of slag on it. Let's see if I can knock that off. Terrible amount of slag. Nope, that's gonna take some grinder work for me to get that off. What do you think, wanna try that cut again? Let's do it. Take number two, half inch. Look at that. Check that out, guys. Kids getting a little better. And that slag, most of it just knocked off. Check out that cut. I hope that shows up. Can you guys see that? Beautiful looking cut on that half inch. And I just felt a raindrop. Well, I don't mind telling you, that's pretty fun. And in spite of the fact that it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, I'm gonna try something else. I think I'm, I'm traveling too slow with my torch tip. So let's see if we can increase the cut speed and see what kind of quality of cut we get then. All right, we're back on the quarter inch plate. We've adjusted the torch or the uh, best arc plasma unit back to our quarter inch settings. Here we go. Oh man, almost had it right there at the end. Yeah, that's a lot better, a lot better. And that slag just come off in one strip. Let me bring you guys down here, check this out. Check that out, you see that? That is a piece of five inch by quarter inch plate. You saw how quick we cut through that. Nothing to it, nice clean cut, easily weldable. Now I'm just playing. This is a piece of leftover guttering, sheet metal guttering. I mean, real light aluminum um, left over from the chicken coop project. Check that out. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of fun a and work, don't get me wrong. Well, there you have it, guys. You really can take a plasma cutter right out of the box and go to cutting metal. That Bestark BTC600DP, I think I said that wrong a while ago. It's a BTC600DP, really got the job done for me. It's gonna help us out a lot here on some projects that we're gonna be working on. As a matter of fact, let me show you what we got coming up here. A few videos back, I asked about the viability of a quick hitch, you know, for hooking up category one implements. Uh, my good buddy John was kind enough to drop off one, a spare one that he wasn't using. Thank you very much, John. And uh, we are going to try to adapt our attachments to the quick hitch. So we got a lot of metal fabrication that's going to be going on. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's quite a bit of fabrication. This, this Betsco flail mower, uh, it is not quick hitch compatible. So we've got to make it quick hitch compatible. And right behind that, see that snow blade? We've got to build a, a plate for the quick attach on the loader frame on the LS tractor. And we're going to build a snow blade, you know, to push snow off our driveway. So that's coming up. Real quick before we get out of here, guys, I want to touch on a couple things. I've already mentioned that we bought this Best Arc plasma cutter with our own money. We are not associated with Best Arc. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, we paid full price for this on Amazon just because uh, 
I've always wanted one, and I know it would come in and helpful here around the farm. And from what I've seen today, that is the case. It's really going to be a big benefit to us. Also, I do want to let you know that I do have a, a tiny bit of, of metal working experience. I can weld. I have a MIG welder. I have a stick welder. I've got a metal cutting bandsaw, grinders, all that type of stuff. Because, you know, you live on a farm, you tend to fix your own stuff. I have never used a plasma cutter before. Uh, today was my very first day of even, even seeing one up close. So if I can do it, you can do it. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to try new things. That's what I'm always trying to, to get across here on our channel. Becky and I are always tackling something that we've never done before. It doesn't always work out how we, you know, hoped it would, but we usually get it done. And that's what I encourage you to do too. Don't be afraid to try new things. Well, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's time for some Red Diamond Sweet Tea. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Be nice to one another. Get outside and enjoy what's around you in between the raindrops. And I'll see you on the next video.